with regards to the translations, the physical translations themselves, where did the King James come from then? And where do the modern translations come from? What are their origins? Well, two things. I think uh, one of the first things is the uh, line or the family of text. And I think the other thing is the uh, way in which the text was translated. Those would be two separate issues, but relevant. Uh, uh, the King James comes from a line that was uh, nearly universally accepted by Christian believers since, since the time of Christ. For that reason, that Greek text is often called the majority text, okay. or um, sometimes it's called the uh, Antioch text, uh, you know, things along that nature. So therefore, it's also called the received text. The majority of Christians received it or uh, believe that it was uh, the truth. Okay. On the other hand, the other text from which most of the uh, um, non-King James translations come from today is considered the minority text or the critical text. So the King James comes from a, if you will, a pure text. Uh, the second thing being the manner. But your hint then is that the others are impure. Correct, yes. Okay. Uh, in fact, the uh, Alexandrian text portions of it were found in a waste can. Now, I'm not sure who put them there, but that's where they were discovered, monastery waste can. There had to be obvious You're reasons. You're talking about why. a trash can, a physical trash yes, can. Yes, a physical trash can, yes. Someone threw it away. In a monastery, yes. And it was not of value. They considered it in error. And these are the better translations according to modern theological you discussion. You know, I recently read an article of all the, and of course this is an obvious thing, but one that we must mention, there's no complete original right. Right. for the received text or the critical text. So they have vast amounts of manuscripts. The large majority of them ally with the received text. Only scraps are with the critical or the minority text. Then why would someone choose a minority text or a modern translation then? Well, that is the million-dollar question. 